Reality says that you are a man. You were born that way. and God made you that way. Ultimately, you have X, Y chromosomes. I mean, listen to your voice. I mean, you even then, you don't even look like a woman, bro. You look like a man who has long hair and wears makeup. And that's not a woman. You can't, you can't fool, you can't fool us, bro. You can't fool us, bro. We, we've been through these, we've been through it too long. What's up, guys? Welcome to Let It Be Heard, where we are doers of the word, not hearers only. I'm your host, Jaden Hurd, and today we're going to be learning how to use someone's pronouns in the setting of public sphere. Check it out. It looks like uh, he's having a uh, nice feast. She, all she, she, her. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. It's all good. But it was not all good. Hi. I use she, her pronouns. I'm not sir. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, like it, it, it's like a knife in the heart. I also, I did specifically ask ahead of time not to be called sir. Yeah, I'm just going to go. Yeah, leave. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sweet so water starts at, yes, okay. Sir? Not, I mean, not, I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. It's just always like a knife. It always hurts every oh. single time. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that oh happened. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I was called sir. Oh, okay. It just really sucks every time it happens. I don't need to be called ma'am. I just need to not be called sir, you know? Thank you. I mean, at least change your voice, bro. Did you call me sir? I, I just want to tell you that the person who gave me this called me sir. What? Called me sir. Wait, oh. pause it real quick. This reminds me, this reminds me of that uh, GameStop viral video where, I don't know if you guys seen this. I'll find it. I got to send it to my producers. It's funny. But it's like this guy walks in. He's, you know, obviously he identifies as a woman, and 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 uh, he's trying to buy a game or whatever. And the guy at the register, he's like, "Yes, sir," and he's like, "It's not, sir. It's ma'am. It's ma'am." It's so funny. It like was super viral like years ago, back before all this craziness. So the whole world was actually making fun of it. Now only like eighty percent of the world is making fun of it now. But it's so funny. Uh, I'll see if they can show it up here somewhere, but it's funny. It's ma'am. It was so good. Sorry. Continue the video though. It's just like these are the modern day Karens. Like these are like the new Karens, by the way. Oh, call me, call me ma'am. Don't call me sir. Thank you so much. No. Oh, I'm yeah. This is this guy's voice. I'm not a sir. I'm not a sir. (sighs) Nothing like a good. I'm not a sir. It does. It is a knife in the gut when I get called sir. I, f- I feel like I need to tell him. Oh, man. Go ahead, tell him. <laughs> I need to tell him that that hurt. It hurts more, though, and it's not intentional, because it means, like, this, the, this is, is sir. sir to him. I know you didn't mean it, but I'm not a sir. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I know you didn't mean it. It's just, you know, it hurts. I know when people clock me, it's it's fine, but, like, it does kind of hurt. It hurts. Thank you. I'm not sir. Oh, sorry. Oh, not sir. Not sir. Not sir. But the guy who dropped the. the I wonder if this guy off, complains at every restaurant he goes to. Like, does that get tiring to do? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so funny. Um, and what's ironic about this too is like, does he not realize why he's being called sir so much? Like, it's it. I, there's gotta like hit a point to where I'm like, okay, you're trying to present yourself one way. But no one accepts you that way. No one understands, like, no one looks at you that way because it's not reality, okay? Sir, you don't live in reality. You live in a false world. You live in something that it doesn't exist. And everyone else is, is living in reality. Unless you're the reality, you're living in reality, and everyone else is deluded, then by all means, my bad. I'm sorry. It's, it's your world, and we're living in it, you know? But no, I mean, reality says that you are a man. You were born that way. and God made you that way. Ultimately, you have X, Y chromosomes. I mean, listen to your voice. I mean, you even then, you don't even look like a woman, bro. You look like a man who has long hair and wears makeup. And that's not a woman. You can't, you can't fool, you can't fool us, bro. You can't fool us, bro. We, we've been through these, we've been through it too long. Half of us are married out here. Half of us have been in relationships. We are very fond of women, okay? We know what a woman is, and that's not a woman. <laughs> you know, like, I, I find myself, like, sometimes you can 
you you can get away with it. Sometimes you can. I say I don't know if that was a woman or a man, but that, that's as far as really I'll go. You guys have actually seen me on these videos. Be like, I can't tell if that's a man or a woman. I can't like, but that's not your goal. Your goal is to make sure that it's to fool us, right? It's to say that you're actually a woman, that you appear as a woman, that you sound like a woman, that you are a woman. But even at your best attempt, we still just are in between. We don't know. And that's, that should scare you, right? Another thing too, if sex or if gender is just purely um, not even, not binary, right? Let's just say it's, it's just completely up to the person. It's subjective. Then why is it that it bothers you when you're called sir? Or how about this? Why, why are you dressing up as like that and trying to present yourself as something else than what you really are like like you're 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 already implying that there's a difference between men and women like you're already doing that you're doing that just by the way you live inherently because you already know inherently that it's true you know the biological reality of the world yet you're denying it you're suppressing the truth in your unrighteousness as the bible says um and it's just odd to me that though they deny reality they have no choice but to accept it because reality just is. You can't change reality. <laughs> and uh, that's why I love truth so much. Truth is objective no matter who says it. And we all inherently know it, which is why he's so hurt by the fact when he says, when people say that, when people call him sir, that's why he's so hurt by that because he knows he's trying to suppress the truth. He's trying to suppress it, but he knows the truth. Right. And it's very sad. Very sad. Um, And, what, and that's why, I mean, you know, I don't know, how do I put this, but like the, the depression rates, the suicide rates and all this stuff in that community is so bad, not because of people calling them, uh, misgendering them, not because people are not using the right pronouns. That's not why they're killing themselves. They're killing themselves because the truth is, is, is hateful to them. They feel like they're living. They truly believe that they're living in a, in like a, in a reality that doesn't exist. Like, and, and then it's hard to come to terms for, through that, you know, like some people lose their, lose their parents and their parents, not, but like, not like physically that their parents are still there, but their parents, you know, may not know where they are. They may not remember who they are. And I'm not saying it's the exact same thing here, but I mean, it essentially is, you know, they're not this trans person who has mental illness, mental health issues. They don't understand that, you know, they're not really who they're trying to be. It's not who they are. And when you and when you put your identity in something that's not Christ, you see what happens. You see, you know, the delusion of basic science, basic reality, basic truth just goes out the door. And I've made this point on my show over and over again, but there is no truth. There's no objectivity. There's no righteousness or wrongness. There's no morality. There's no reality outside of of what God has created or given us. There's nothing, okay? From an atheistic worldview, what that guy is doing and saying is true for him. And I can't say that that's not true because ultimately there's no objective standard. There's no real reality that God has created, both male and female, in the beginning and then bless them, right? That, that reality, in the beginning, God doesn't exist. So why does it matter if I'm calling this guy a she or him uh, from an atheistic worldview? It doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, and in that light, what's wrong with everything else? There's nothing wrong with, with, with the trans stuff. There's nothing wrong with transing kids. There's nothing wrong with, with, uh, with bringing your kid to a strip club or a drag queen story hour. There's nothing wrong with it because ultimately there is no in the beginning God. But the reality is that God does exist. The reality is that, that that man was made as a man in God's image. And he's rejecting that and suppressing the truth in unrighteousness. And our job is to tell him the truth. With love, of course, but love is truth, right? Love isn't tolerance. Love isn't acceptance. Okay, that's not what the Christian love is. Christian love is letting them know the good news making sure that your neighbor has the best outcome for them and the best outcome for them, the best thing for your neighbor is for them to hear and heed to the gospel of Jesus Christ, which preaches repentance, right? Repentance from all sin. You turn away from all your sin, turn away from all wickedness. That means you stop doing all your sin. You turn in faith to Jesus Christ and you obey him and follow him for the rest of your days. That's the gospel. Okay. And that's the good news. It's good stuff. It's not bad. You know, we should not be ashamed of that. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel. You know, and neither should we, 
You know, I didn't mean to turn this into like a religious thing or religious rant, but still, I mean, that is the only solution to this. I mean, you know, the show is called Let It Be Heard and we want we want people to be uh, to, to be well informed, to know the truth and live in the truth. But the only truth that can possibly be be told on the show or in the world is the gospel. OK, and, and that's the only way that this gentleman can be saved. Um, and so, yeah, uh, speaking of, uh, you know, the truth right? A lot of truth is being suppressed on social media. You know, that's why I love Rumble. We're on Rumble because we can say whatever we want and um, get away with it and be totally fine. I have to worry about YouTube giants uh, with their big old hands over our pockets and stuff like that. We don't have to worry about that. We don't answer anybody. That's why I love this platform. Um, and that's another reason why we love ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN gives you protection from your data and it allows these corporations or these big companies to stop taking all your data while they're also kicking off their social media sites. I mean, that's how these guys make all their money. They do this by tracking your searches, your video history, everything you click on, and they build this huge profile on you and sell off that profile to other people, right? Now, when you use the ExpressVPN app on your phone or your computer or laptop or tablet, you anonymize much of your online presence by hiding your IP address. This makes your activity much more difficult to trace and sell to advertisers. And what's better than this is that they encrypt 100% of your network data to protect, to protect you from eavesdroppers and cyber criminals. What I like most about it is how easy it is to use. It just takes one click to protect all of your devices. And that's why ExpressVPN is rated number one by Tech Radar. Uh, so guys, let's fight back against this big tech censorship and, and big uh, data corruption, you know, stealing and stuff like that. And let's go to expressvpn.com slash rsbn. If you go to that link, you get three months free of an annual subscription. Again, that is expressvpn.com slash rsbn. Stay safe on the internet, guys, and protect your data. Uh, now back to it. Um, last thing I'll leave you guys with as far as this stuff goes, is again, if we know the truth, the most loving thing to do is to tell them the truth, not accept all this stuff, not be tolerant of it, okay? And you guys know this, but what's even more is that when you're put in the situation, like if someone is, is if someone's saying, well, it's sir or it's ma'am, I would ask that person, like me personally, I really would ask that person, why do you think that? Why do you believe that? Where do you get that from? How do you know that? How do you know that who you are is what you are, essentially? And just see what they say. I'll be curious to say that. I've never heard really anybody say that before. I've really heard either somebody say, oh, I'm sorry, or, oh, okay, cool. You know, but like, ask them. Just be like, why do you believe that? Or why do you think that about yourself? Or how do you know that? You know, these are questions that'll get them thinking. Like, how did I come to that conclusion? which already starts with the presupposition that they had to come to that conclusion. That means they went, that means they were something and then they chose not to be that. And these are questions that need to be answered by the trans community. Where does that come from? How do you know that? Why are we here? Why do you feel that way? And where are we going to go eventually? What's going to happen to us? These are good questions to ask and good questions to ask yourself. If you don't know the answer to these questions, uh, we got a nice thing called the Bible it stands for the uh what is it the book the what is it the instructions it's the basic instructions before leaving earth that's what it is right b-i-b-l-e basic instructions before leaving earth i don't know something like that that's what i guess that's what people say it stands for i just believe that it's god's word and that it's a guide to tell us how to live where we come from and where we're gonna go after death so check that book out. It's really good. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, be sure to check us out on all of our social medias at the end of this video. Have a good rest of your week and God bless. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And be sure to hit that follow button and that join button. It'll take you over to our local channel where you can further support the show and get access to additional content. God bless.